Let's talk about the perfect trail toolkit that you can bring on your bikepacking overnighters or multi-day trips or on your day rides. Let's jump right into the video. I'm not only gonna show you what's gonna be in this toolkit, but I'll also talk about things like multi-tools or bringing things like these and then having a first aid kit. Let's jump right into the video. So this is a nice small bag that I use to compartmentalize the different types of tools that I have on my bike. I can throw this in my bike packing bags. I can throw it in the backpack that I have or in a fanny pack. So it's really versatile. You can bring it with you. You don't have to move everything from your backpack and these individual things. It's all in one right here. So find something like this if you can, no matter what kind of thing you're going to be using this for. So the first thing that I have are these Velcro straps. You never know when you're going to need these. It's good for bike packing, but also if something breaks or if you need to strap down your tire when you're transporting, things like that, they can be really helpful. The next one is, I'm just going to kind of go in random order here. There's no specific order, but this is a like a cap basically for a little glue stick. And I wrapped a bunch of this, it's kind of like a tape and with some rubber bands. Rubber bands are always helpful. And then this tape I use for trail marking, you'll see in some other videos that I have. But this is super nice because if you get into a pinch and you need to let somebody know where you are, um, you can set this up across the trail or something like that and hopefully someone will notice. Um, really good for just emergency situations. And it's so light that you might as well just bring something like that. And the next thing is a CO2 cartridge and a nice adapter for your valve. So what you do when you have a tubeless setup or not, you can put this on here and screw that right onto your valve, your tire, and you can really quickly pump up your tire if you're in a pinch. The reason people use these over pumps, I would say is mainly so that you can fix the tire if you have a tubeless setup and the bead falls off of the rim and you can't just use a pump to get it back sealed, this will fill it up super quickly so you can get that seal when you're out on the trail. And these are really light. I would usually bring one or two of these on a day ride and multiple on a bikepacking trip. I think they're really handy just in case you need them. All right, moving on to the next thing, also talking about tires, and I'll make sure I link these down in the description. But this is a double whammy thing. On this side, there's kind of like a cheese grater um, Basically, you stick this into a hole that you get on your tire to clean it up, get it nice and ready to be prepped so that you can fill it with a plug. This comes with a few extras, and what you want to do is just stick it in there like a T right across, and you can push that into the hole of your tire if you're running tubeless to make sure that you're sealing up that hole and your sealant can do its job the rest of the way. But once that's nice and secure, you can cut that off. And that brings me to the next thing on the list. And so here we go. This is a super handy thing. This is a razor blade wrapped in a bunch of electrical tape. So you can take the electrical tape and use it for whatever you need. You can take that off and you can use this, this blade for cutting whatever you might need to while you're out on the trail. You never know when you're going to need something sharp. And if you don't have it, it's really unfortunate. So just being prepared, it's so light. A lot of these things are so light, so you might as well just have them in your pack. Here's one that's not a super big necessity, but this is a pair of latex gloves. This is really nice if you have to do some trail work while you're out on the trails and you don't want to get your hands all greasy or ruin your nice biking gloves. Here is a pair of tire levers. These are nice because obviously <laughs> you know what they do. Stick them in there to get the tire off the rim and to get them back on definitely something you have to have in your setup in your toolkit all right next up this one people do not talk about but it's a whistle this is so light and it takes up hardly any room i think it's definitely necessary you'll find these in a lot of first aid kits and i think it's a crucial thing to have if for some reason you crash and you're not able to get up or you need to yell for help, but you're like off the beaten path and you can't move. This would be your best option to be able to help. Uh, get yourself some help by, uh, you know, calling out for it with a big, large, loud whistle. Here's some super glue. This is something that has come in handy for me while I've been on the trail when I had a big pinch flat. 
and I didn't have anything else like rubber glue. This worked out enough to get me home to uh, seal up those holes in my tire when I didn't have some of these other things. Here's a couple extra bolts that I can use. I think that's for my quad lock mount. Make sure you check out, I have a quad lock video just right over here. I'll put the, the link as well as down in the description of the quad lock mount that I use for mountain biking. Here's a small little roll of duct tape, definitely handy. Again, a super light thing. And then this something, it's a little bit underrated, having a bunch of zip ties. These can be used for a wide array of problems that you might run into on the trail. Whether it's if you break your rim and you need to put these on to uh, make sure your tire's not falling off or you have straps that break, things like that. Here is something that's definitely handy. It's a bunch of extra master links. These can be quick linked onto your chain. These are specific to the how many speeds that you have on your drivetrain. This is a 12 speed that I have, so I have 12 speed quick links. You can find these on Amazon. I found these ones on AliExpress and they will do the job. Definitely another light thing, but something you definitely need. Now finishing up the bag, a couple extra bolts in here. Things like clothes pins, there's another zip tie. And sometimes my multi-tool might not have specific sizes, so I'll bring these in this bag as well. All right, well, let's move on to the bonus of this. Another few things I think that you need to bring in your pack, if you're doing bike packing especially, is you need to have a little first aid kit and something that is waterproof. In here, it's really nice. It has a foldable top. You can unfold that and then you're gonna be able to access all kinds of things in here. I make sure that I bring a bunch of ibuprofen. I think that's one of the most crucial things. If you're gonna hurt yourself and you're gonna be in pain, you're gonna wish you had some of these. I probably have a little overkill. I don't know if I need that many, but it's a good thing to have. And then I have different things in here like patches, gauze patches, little alcohol cleaning patches, matches, which if you're doing a day ride, you probably don't need, but doing overnighters, you need a backup way to start a fire and get yourself warm. Here's a little emergency blanket, and then I have some big uh, band-aids and all kinds of stuff in there. All right, here's a funny one that people don't think about. These are tissues or Kleenexes. If you have a runny nose or you know you need to do your business and you're out on the trail out in the woods, then you're going to wish you had that. Here is one that I think a lot of people overlook, but you definitely want to have something like this. Even though you might have CO2 cartridges, this is a, just another option for you to have a lightweight um, pump mounted on your bike. If you have a standard setup for mounting things like water bottle cages, you can mount this here and have your water bottle cage over it, right next to it, and have that mounted on your bike. So this is nice because it works for Schrader and for Presta. So you can either put it on this side or mount it on that side. And you have a nice little portable pump for you when you're on the trail. And finishing up the list, here is the multi-tool that I use. This one's just one from Walmart. I tried using another one, but it fell apart. So I just fell back to this one. I haven't got around buying another one, but whatever works, you just gotta make sure that the multi-tool that you have has the sizes for your bike. At the end of the day, if you don't have the right Allen key hex sizes for the bolts on your bike, then what is the use for having this tool? One of the last things, uh, an important one, is having a spare tube. Even if you're running tubeless, it's important to have a spare tube. And you can even mount it with some of the straps that I have here and mount that on your frame to keep it out of the way. And you can forget about it until the time comes when you pinch your tire too big that you're, you're, it's not going to hold air and you need to have a tube in there. That's when this comes in. Definitely super handy. And make sure it's the right size for your tire. I run 2.8 up front and 2.6 in the back. And this, I think, is a 2.6. It will fit the 2.8 or even 3-inch tires if you need to. But just make sure you keep that in mind. There's different size tubes out there. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video of showing you my ideal biking toolkit that I bring out on the trails when I'm doing day rides or bikepacking trips. Let me know what you guys thought of this content. What kind of things do you bring in your toolkits? I'd like to know that down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.